Hi everyone, it's Jean Hansen, co-founder of the janitorialstore.com, and I'm here with another janitorial supervisor training tip. Today I want to talk about motivating and engaging employees in the job. I know that recruiting is a huge problem these days, but if you've got some good employees on staff, you have got to pay attention to them. You've got to keep them motivated. You've got to get them engaged in their job or you're going to lose them and you're going to be in even worse trouble than you are right now by not being able to find new employees. So uh, here's a few of the things that you can do. And the, the easiest thing you can do is simply recognize them for doing a good job. I mean, it just feels good to have someone recognize the work that you're doing, right? <laughs> I mean, it feels good for me and I know it feels good for my employees as well. Respect and trust goes a long ways towards keeping good employees. Now, as a janitorial supervisors, a lot of times, you know, the supervisors want to earn respect and trust, but you can't earn it unless you give it, right? So um, trust your employees, respect your employees. You don't know what they're going through in their own lives. And so having a dedicated, hardworking employee deserves your respect and trust giving them some extra responsibility. Now, I'm not talking about dumping the jobs you don't like to do on them. I'm talking about just giving them some simple responsibility that makes them feel important, right? It could be as simple as welcoming in a new employee. It could be handling a special request from a client. It doesn't have to be a big deal, but give them a little bit of responsibility and then make sure that you recognize them when they do a good job with it. Another thing that's important to people is to be informed. You know, just because you're a janitorial supervisor that, or maybe you have some new janitorial supervisors, this is a good thing to remind them of, is that just because you might be privy to certain information doesn't mean you should laud that over your employees saying, oh, I know something you don't know, or you don't need to know that. You know, make sure that you keep them informed on the things that they need to know. Um, people just want to be, feel like you're being honest with them, like you're being upfront, that you're trusting them with information, okay? Um, also, make sure that you are soliciting their feedback. People want to make suggestions if they see something that isn't working correctly. But if you're always shutting down their ideas, they're never going to speak up. They're just going to let things go on, and maybe they have a great idea to save some time or increase profits or make your life easier, right? So encourage that feedback and then listen to them and thank them and let them know that you appreciate that, that you're going to talk with your bosses and maybe you can implement some of those ideas. So one of the things that I like to remind supervisors of is to leave their ego at the door, especially new supervisors because they're on maybe a little bit of a high, they've got a little bit of power now over the janitors. Um, but you want to do that, you want to leave that ego at the door. You want to talk with them on an even level. You, you know, I know certain um, cleaning companies, very large cleaning companies that have presidents that, um, you know, they've, they're overseeing thousands of employees. Yet those presidents, they go and they talk to their cleaning technicians on a regular basis. They get down with them and they ask them questions about what's going on. And they're leaving their ego at the door. They're not saying, oh, I'm the president. You know, they, they're in there. They honestly want to know how their job is going, what they can do to make their life easier. And that's how it should be for every manager in the company. You want to make sure that you're not asking them to do something that you aren't willing to do yourself, right? If you just always give them the, the crummy jobs, I mean, everybody's got to clean, right? We know that it's not a, a, a clean job. <laughs> you're cleaning up dirt. However, there are some jobs that nobody likes to do. But, you know, if, if you're shorthanded, if you pitch in, you show them that you're willing to do whatever it takes to get the job done, they're going to respect you more, and they're going to want to have your back when, they, when you need some help, right? So don't be asking them to do something that you aren't willing to do yourself. When there is a problem, make sure that you use it as a training or a coaching opportunity. Don't just be there to reprimand them. Don't make them feel like you're always looking over their shoulder, looking for them to make a mistake so that you can reprimand them, right? Otherwise, they're going to hate seeing you every time you show your face, right? You want to use these things when they make a mistake or, you know, something happens. You want to use it as a training opportunity. And then while you're doing that, make sure you explain why you're doing something a certain way. Because if they keep doing it the way that they want to do it, 
maybe they don't understand the reason for why we do it a certain way. It's part of it is consistency. We want everyone to do things the same way, right? It makes it a lot easier. Um, fewer mistakes are made that way. However, if you give them a reason behind why something needs to be done in a certain way, it makes it so much easier for them to understand. Oh, yeah, sure, I get it. I'll do it that way. <laughs> So if you do some of these things, you're going to make not only your cleaning technicians happier and feel more respected and trusted, you're going to make your own life easier because when you trust and respect and motivate and engage your employees, then they're going to make your life so much easier. So um, if you want more tips like this, I have a whole series on janitorial supervisor training that you can find here on YouTube. You can subscribe to our channel and just click on the button on the lower right corner and uh, you'll get notified every time we post a, a new video. And we also have a complete online video training course on janitorial supervision. So if you're interested in that, I'll have a link below and be sure to check that out because it's very comprehensive training just for janitorial supervisors. Thanks and have a great day.